Hello there, steve Welcome along to this week's episode of Steve's Weekly Vlog. This is episode 191. Monday morning, it's just uh, coming up to quarter to nine now, at the time recording this part of the weekly vlog. Uh, I have woken up this morning. I've watched uh, today's episode of EastEnders on BBC iPlayer, watched last Friday's episode of Coronation Street over on ITVX, and I'm currently watching some episodes in the background of The Simpsons on Disney Plus on my tablet I'm just about to open my curtains and to be honest with you it's not looking too bad out there cloudy a little bit cloudy I think the sun's trying to break through but I did actually just pop off to the toilet and I could hear the wind uh, from the bathroom and it sounds very gusty out there today so very gusty winds um, so anyway that is what's been happening so far this morning so uh, what I am just about to do right now is I'm just about to uh, head off and get dressed. Just about to have a shave. As I'm back to work tomorrow, um, I have now set my alarms for 4.56, 4.58 and 5am over on my iPad and over on my Galaxy S7 Plus device as well, uh, tablet, I have set my alarms for 4.56, 4.58 and 5am and then on my days off when I'm normally off, Monday, Thursday and Friday, I've set my alarms back to the usual 7am alarms uh, on my uh, Galaxy tablet and also on my iPad as well. Just made my first flask of tea of the day and for breakfast today I've got chocolatey square cereal. Gonna put the drying up away that's on the draining board. You know how earlier I said in the vlog that it was gusty winds this morning? Well, it's very chilly winds as well. So chilly to the point where just a few moments ago I had some tears coming out of my eyes because it's that cold. Anyway, it is Monday morning I'm currently outside at the moment the Sun is trying its best to break through but I'm currently taking Simba for his first walk of the day uh, up this footpath so you may remember at Christmas last year I got this uh, photo um, that my sister got me uh, which is to go up on my bedroom wall actually it's a horror icon um, poster obviously it's got Michael Myers uh, Pennywise Ghostface uh, Freddy Krueger uh, Jack, uh, Jigsaw, um, uh, Jason, and Chucky. So those are the those are the horror icons. It's been a while since I last watched a horror film. Okay, so I got a little bit confused towards the end. Um, but anyway, I am gonna try and see if I can get that stuck up uh, on my bedroom wall a little bit later on uh, this afternoon. I need my mum's help. So hopefully, when she finishes work today, I'll be able to get that up on my bedroom wall. And the same for this one here as well. This Avengers uh, Infinity War signed cast. Uh, um, photo frame as well i'm going to try and get that one up on my bedroom wall again uh one uh one of the photos or one of the pictures uh that my sister got me for christmas last year i know it's been a couple of months my mum has been very busy and stuff so she's not really um been able to find the time really to uh try and put them up on my wall and obviously i do need help to get them up on my wall i think so yeah so i'm going to try and see if hopefully she'll be able to do that uh when she finishes work later this afternoon it's monday afternoon just made myself my second flask of tea of the day and i'm just getting my laptop here ready uh because in the next few minutes my girlfriend grace is going to give me a video call so i'm going to have a chat with her for a couple of hours monday afternoon just got our video call with grace lovely nearly two hour video call with her um so on my laptop so my laptop is charging grace has gone out for a little bit uh, to get some fresh air with her son so i've decided to make myself another flask of tea my third one of the day i'm gonna have a couple of these 12s that i've got here and i've decided to watch a movie on amazon prime one of the ones that i purchased recently um i don't know i'm thinking either the nutty professor the movie ants or small soldiers i don't know but i'm gonna give one of those a watch uh, I think while I have some twirls and just uh, have a bit of a relaxing, um, chilled afternoon before I start making me and my mum some dinner, which I will show you guys what we've got for dinner very shortly. For dinner this evening, I have done me and my mum an oven based meal, which includes some chips some mixed veg and a cheese and bean slice. Now about to do the washing up, drying up and putting away from dinner this evening. So I'm outside taking Simba for his last walk of the evening and note to self by the way, don't 
eat your dinner, then take your dog for a walk, then when he does his business and you go down to pick it up, don't breathe in and bend down at the same time because Christ Almighty, my ribs really did hurt um, as I breathed in and bent down. Ouch. Anyway, they're just starting to get back to normal now anyways, but I'm currently out taking Simba for his last walk of the evening uh, just up the footpath. Monday night and I have got my bag ready and I've obviously got into my pyjamas as well. I've had a video call with my girlfriend Grace for a couple of hours and as you can see up here, look, I showed you this earlier in the weekly vlog, but my horror movie icon characters have been put up on my bedroom wall. Um, it is on a hook, but my mum's going to do a bit of work on that at the moment. Now, the Avengers Infinity War um, poster, I did actually have on my bedroom wall. I'll show you where. It was on this this hook here, where my finger is. It was on this hook here. However, though, while I was on video call with Grace, it started coming off my wall to the point it was literally leaning towards me. Um, and it was literally just hanging by a thread. Like, literally by a thread. So, I've put it down on my bedroom floor again for the time being. I'm going to speak to my mum in the morning and we'll have to try and work out something because basically the uh, wiring that was behind the picture frame for it to hook on this uh, hook, uh, picture frame hook right here, um, it was basically coming off. Um, well, it wasn't coming off, but we sellotaped it down um, and obviously the sellotape that we've used I don't think is strong enough um, or something like that so I don't know but anyway it was coming off and obviously the wiring was just the, the, the picture itself was just literally like on the verge of coming off the wall and the last thing I want is for it to smash or anything like that so I've taken it off the wall temporarily it will be put back on hopefully it'll be on there by tomorrow um, but yeah so I'll show you that a little bit later on in the weekly vlog but in the meantime though it is now half past 11 uh, I am now going to head off to bed uh, because I do have work tomorrow I am back to work tomorrow so I'm going to push my chair back towards the wall I'm going to just shut my curtain there we go, and I'm going to turn my fan on for background noise, and I'm going to turn my camera off here, and bid you all good night, and I'll speak to you guys again in the next scene of the weekly vlog, which will be Tuesday. Tuesday night, just gone 20 to 8, 7.40 at the time of recording this part of this week's episode of the weekly vlog. And I have uh, gone back to work today. Work weren't too bad. It was nice to go back after my week away. Um, so I've got another week off coming up again towards the end of March. Um, so And I've got a couple of days off um, as well coming up um, in March as well, which I'm sure you'll see uh, me take while, um, while I'm doing my vlogging all throughout March. Um, I've also seen my support worker today, uh, we spent the afternoon in Paul for a little while, so I had a long journey uh, back home after seeing him, which wasn't too bad to be honest, I was actually listening uh, to the back catalogue of Dua Lipa, and can I just say, right, going back and listening to Dua Lipa's back catalogue, um, I mean, she's just done bop after bop after bop, hasn't she, in the past? I mean, literally, if you go back and listen to the discog uh, discography of Dua Lipa, I mean, damn, she literally has just released bop after bop after bop, hasn't she? Um, but uh, with my support worker today, I did have a bit of a walk with him along Paul Key, and we also stopped off at Weatherspoons as I did have some lunch as well. This is, by the way, what I had for my lunch today. I had a uh, tuna and cheddar cheese mayo melt, panini uh, with some uh, chips uh, with uh, and I did put some salt and pepper uh, on them 
um and i also put some mayonnaise on my plate as well to have and for a drink i did have a glass of apple juice a pint of apple juice as well uh, so that is what i had for my lunch today with my support worker um and then i came back had a video call with grace for a little while and i've just been chilling out really um i did also just literally within the last minute or so uh wake up from having a nap um, so I've done that, I had an hour's nap, um, so yeah, so now I'm just about to go downstairs and have some dinner, and I thought I'd vlog, just let you know, uh, let you guys know that I am alive, I, here's what I've been up to on this Tuesday of this week's episode of the vlog, but yeah, so now it's time for me to go downstairs and see what I've got for dinner, so let's find out what I've got for dinner tonight. For dinner tonight, I've got chicken and pesto pasta. So it is Tuesday night and I am going to turn the Simpsons off here. Um, goodbye Simpsons. Thank you for keeping me entertained while I was napping. Uh, or I'll just pause it actually, that would be better won't it? Um, <laughs> that would be better, just, just pause it, just pause it. Um, and I'm just going to go on Skype as well on my iMac. Because I'm going to have a video chat with my friend Kieran uh, over on Skype. Obviously, it is Tuesday. It's not Monday and it's not Sunday and it's not Thursday. It is Tuesday. But the reason why um, I'm Skyping Kieran tonight is because, well, Sunday night, I wasn't able to Skype him because he was unwell. And... Um, Obviously, I messaged him yesterday to ask if he was free to Skype yesterday night. And sadly, he wasn't because, again, he was still... Um he was still unwell. Um, he's just sent me a message saying, give me two minutes. So there we go. Um, but yeah, so... And then I got a message from him today uh, to say... Um, would you um are you up for the usual skype this evening as i'm feeling a little bit better so so yeah so i'm gonna have a skype call with him right now um also as well while i'm on skype with him i'm also gonna have uh some pepsi cherry max um pepsi max cherry pepsi cherry max pepsi max cherry i'm gonna have that uh in my pint glass as well uh on this uh tuesday evening tuesday night i didn't have a long video call with my friend kieran this evening uh the reason being is because uh he was still coughing and stuff like that so i really do hope and pray he does get better soon um but yeah he just kept coughing throughout the video call so he wasn't gonna stay on for too long this evening uh, which is fair enough and understandable. So I am going to have another video chat with him again on Thursday this week. Uh, so I'll speak to him then. Really, I'm looking forward to having another video call uh, with him then. Uh, but it was just nice to just kind of touch base and see how uh, both of us uh, were doing, uh, how he was doing on his end, and of course how I'm doing on my end. Uh, so yeah, so there we go. Uh, and I've just uh, updated Twitter as well and just gone down sorted out my flask of tea so i've made my last flask of tea for this evening and i've got my flask ready for me to make a flask of tea uh, before i set off for work in the morning as well so that's all been sorted uh so all i've got left to do now on this uh, tuesday evening is to just head into the bathroom have a shower get into my pajamas and get myself ready for bed and i'm gonna have one last video call with my girlfriend grace as well uh once i'm in my pajamas and and ready for bed wednesday afternoon halfway through the week halfway through this week's episode of the weekly vlog here on my youtube channel steve official i've uh, been to work this morning done my second shift of the week so that is me done now until the weekend um, and i've come back home got out my work uniform made myself a flask of tea and i've also brushed my teeth as well and now i'm outside currently taking simba out for his afternoon walk up this footpath and it's a little bit drizzly today this is what happens when you sit these in a bag and they're crushed anyway i'm gonna try and eat the best i can of these uh 
Belgian buns that I got the other day from Asda while I watched today's and yesterday's episode of EastEnders over on BBC iPlayer on my iMac. I'm gonna have some chocolate muffins now while I watch today's episode or this week's episode of Star Wars The Bad Batch Series 3 over on Disney Plus on my iMac. For dinner this evening I have cooked me and my mum some meatballs with mixed veg and spaghetti. Hello there, good morning everybody and welcome to Thursday's part of the weekly vlog and of course today is Thursday the 29th of February 2024. It's one extra day in the 2020-2024 uh, calendar year uh, that we have this year of course, uh, one extra day um, and of course that means it's a leap year so happy leap year day to anyone who celebrates and also as well happy birthday to anyone whose birthday falls on the 29th of February um, every leap year I guess I mean you know you might be three years old, you might be five years old, you might be ten years old, you might be twenty years old, who knows, okay? But anyway, massive happy birthday to anyone who who whose birthday falls on this date every four years. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, and by the way, next leap year will be in 2028. That's when our next leap year will be. Uh, Thursday morning, I have been awake for a little while, to be honest. It's just coming up to half past 11 at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. Um, I have watched EastEnders. I have watched a couple of movies uh, on Amazon Prime Video, which I have reviewed, uh, watched and reviewed uh, over on Letterboxd as well. So I will speak about them in the episode of the movie wrap-up, which is available to watch right now on my YouTube channel, Steve Official. So if you've not yet checked that video out, feel free to check it out after this week's episode of the vlog has ended. Hear my thoughts on some of the movies that I've watched uh, this week. Um, and of course, um, I have uh, had a little video call uh, with my girlfriend Grace for a little bit and I have got dressed as well. So I'm just about to head downstairs and make myself my first flask of tea of the morning. I know I've gone pretty much all morning without a flask of tea. Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. Um, so I'm going to go downstairs, make myself my first flask of tea of the morning um, and I'm also going to have some breakfast. Now, by the way, for the last couple of years now, I've been having chocolatey square cereal, haven't I, for my breakfast. You guys know that. If you're a regular viewer to my vlogs, then you guys will know that. Anyway, yesterday, when I finished work, I decided to switch up my breakfast cereal now. And I've gone for something completely different. So, without further ado, let's find out what I have now got for my cereal for breakfast in the mornings. By taking a look at the next scene of the vlog, let's take a look. For breakfast today, I've got Choco Hoop cereal. Thursday night, and I've got to be a little bit quiet because my mum is upstairs asleep. She's not feeling too good. So um, I've just got back home after spending the evening out uh, with my support workers and some of their clients. We went to Hollywood Bowl in Branksome in Paul, um, which was good. It was good. Didn't win. Didn't win. Um, you know, my score was under 100 for both games. We were meant to play three games, but after two games, my support workers and most of the clients were pretty knackered. So uh, it was all the laughing that we had, all the jokes we were saying to one another and stuff like that. So, yeah, so we only stuck to two games. Um but we also before we went bowling we also went off to Bournemouth town center and had some dinner um and for my dinner which i'm going to show you right now i had a small glass of coca-cola um and then for my dinner i had some cheesy chips just look at those cheesy chips they were so good and I also had a triple B burger as well uh, which had blue cheese I think it had bacon in it and it had something else as well uh, but it was a triple B burger it was really 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 lovely um, and do you want to know something I'm not gonna lie but um, 
when Grace next comes down to Bournemouth, I've even said this to her, when she next comes down to Bournemouth, I'm going to take her to Seven Bone Burger, which was where I went for my dinner. Uh, Seven Bone Burger. Um, I'm going to take her there for either a lunch or for some dinner. I mean, it's it's a it's a messy job. Don't get me wrong. It's a messy job eating there because, I mean, obviously you can eat with a knife and fork, but there's me eating with my with my hands. Um, you know, the burgers and the chips they can get a little bit messy, but it's really good food. Really good food. Um, really lovely burgers, really lovely chips, Just cannot fault them, cannot fault them. Um, so yeah, so that happened. Um, but I had a really enjoyable, lovely evening though with my support workers and their clients. So massive thank you to my support workers for putting that on and a massive thank you to their clients for joining in as well. Really do appreciate it. Had a lot of fun. Uh, this evening and uh, hopefully I'll be able to go and do another social session with them again uh, very very soon um, so yeah so I'm really looking forward to that anyway I've just got back home uh, what is the time now it's just coming up to 10 o'clock um, on this Thursday evening and I just thought I would chill out for a little bit and I'm going to catch up on tonight's episode of Coronation Street on my tablet down here in the dining room um, and then I'm gonna have a video call with my gorgeous girlfriend Grace as well um, before I head off to bed 5 to 10 on this Friday morning good morning everybody just woken up and I'm just about to open my curtains not looking too bad out there blue sky I think the sun's trying to break through at the moment uh, I am now just about to head off and have a shower and get dressed on this Friday morning for breakfast today I have got some choco hoops and I've just made myself my first flask of tea of the day day is laundry day so I'm going to take my washing basket uh, downstairs and I'm just about to put some washing in the washing machine so it is Friday afternoon and this is my lunch for today I've got a king size chicken and mushroom flavored pot noodle I've also just made myself another flask of tea and on my tab s7 plus device I'm currently watching classic episodes of Keenan and Kel over on Amazon Prime Video. For dinner this evening, I've got chips, spaghetti hoops, and some southern fried chicken fillets. So it is Friday night, and I am just about to get my blue basket. Here it is, right here. Uh, and I'm just about to go downstairs and take out my washing from the tumble dryer uh, that I stuck in there earlier, and obviously put it into my washing basket. And then get the second load of washing that I put in the washing machine earlier this afternoon and stick that in the tumble dryer to dry as well. And then hopefully by the time we get to later tonight, um, hopefully it'll be nice and dry and I'll be able to uh, bring that up and put that away as well. Um, also as well, I am going to be having a video chat with my friend Kieran over on Skype in a few moments uh, because last night I wasn't able to. Uh, because I was out until around about quarter to ten um, and therefore I couldn't Skype him sadly so I'm going to be Skyping him very very shortly and then a little bit later on after my Skype call with Kieran I'm going to end the night by having us having a video chat with my gorgeous girlfriend Grace um, as a matter of fact uh, towards the end of this week's episode of the vlog I have actually got a little bit of news uh, to bring to you guys in in regards to me and Grace actually uh, which I'm sure you'll all be interested to hear uh, so stay tuned because that news will be coming up for you guys very very shortly but for now though just about to go downstairs get my washing out of the tumble dryer and put the second load of washing into the tumble dryer to dry and then I'm going to make myself a flask of tea ready for when I Skype call my friend Kieran uh, in about half an hour. Bit of an update to bring to you. So I went downstairs, 
took all the uh, washing out of the tumble dryer that I dried earlier and went to put my second load of washing into the tumble dryer and turns out that the uh, tumble dryer isn't spinning my clothes, uh, my second load of clothes. So I took the clothes out that was already in there and I've just put them away uh, in my wardrobe and stuff like that and then I went off to, why is this not, come on, no. Let's try it again then. I'm sorry, I'm just putting my password into my iMac at the moment and it's still not letting me in. Um, oh, actually, hang on. Maybe I've been putting the password in wrong. Oh, there we go. That's better. Um, <laughs> now I'm in. I was putting the password in wrong. Um, so, yeah, so basically I was just about to say that I... And took my uh, washing out of the tumble dryer, put that away, went to put my second load of washing in the tumble dryer and went to start it and my clothes aren't spinning. So I don't know. I don't know um, what's going on. So I've spoken to my mum about it. So um, looks like she might have to sort that out. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to dry my other second load of clothes. If not, then I'm going to have to wait until maybe Sunday when the weather's a little bit better. And then I should be able to stick it in the... Um, in maybe stick it out on the washing line or something if the weather's nice because I don't think the weather's supposed to be nice tomorrow so yeah so looks like that's gonna have to be a problem I'm gonna have to deal with on Sunday anyway uh, it's just coming up to eight o'clock so I'm just about to get myself ready to video call my friend Kieran over. good morning Saturday morning it's just gone ten past five at the time before this part of the weekly vlog on this Saturday morning I've just woke up, got dressed into my work uniform and as you can hear in the background the kettle is currently boiling as I'm just making myself my first flask of the tea, uh, first flask of tea of the day before I set off for work. Before I do head off for work I'm going to just put the drying up away that's on the draining board. You see weather and the internet lied to me because it said that this morning I was going to get drenched in the rain. Turns out it's clear, the skies aren't like dark in any way it's not raining anyway but it's freezing cold though it's freezing cold um so yeah good job i've got my flask of tea in it uh so i'm currently on my way to work on this saturday morning so i have just got myself into work i got a lift into work thank you to my work colleague for giving me a lift and i have also got my music playing on my phone through spotify music which i'm listening to through my headphones I've also got a banana for breakfast. Also for breakfast today, I have got uh, peanut butter on toast, which I'm just about to eat for my breakfast before I start my shift at work. Just got home from work on this Saturday afternoon and I'm just about to get out my work uniform. So I'm currently out taking Simba for his afternoon walk and I've come to the realization I should have worn my hat because it's not warm, it's pretty chilly still. And bearing in mind, I've just put the washing out on the washing line. I don't know how well you can see this, but there's dark clouds looming. And I'm a little bit worried that because I've stuck the washing out on the washing line uh, that was meant to be dried in the tumble dryer last night, um, I'm worried that it's going to rain and my clothes are just going to get even more soggier than what they were when they were in the tumble dryer. Anyway, I've also found out why the tumble dryer may now be broke it might actually be um like it won't be fixable um if that's even a thing um so basically it's either the tumble dryer has been overloaded with clothes to dry or the motor on it has gone so we're assuming that the motor in the tumble dryer has gone therefore we now need a new tumble dryer so my mum said that maybe because she uses it as well as I do from time to time, um, we might end up having to go halves on getting a new tumble dryer, which is fine to be honest. Um, but yeah, so, but to be honest with you, now that we're getting warmer days, I mean, obviously we're gonna be coming up to April and obviously April is well known for April showers here in the UK and stuff like that. I'm probably not gonna, I'll see if maybe we can hold out getting a new tumble dryer until like the colder days start drawing in and stuff like that you know um but yeah we'll see we'll see what happens but anyway uh saturday afternoon currently taking simba for his afternoon walk saturday night two things came for me today in the post in terms of amazon deliveries one of them 
I can't show you, sadly. Um, I can't show you because it's something to do with Grace, and I will show you. I'll show you in next week's vlog uh, what it was that did come for Grace today. Um, but I thought I'd show you what else came though. I've got myself what they call a weekend bag slash gym bag for it in blue. Um, obviously this is what I'm going to be taking with me. It's got loads of side pockets on it as well which is nice. Uh, which means I can easily store like my toothbrush in it or I can store like my, my shower gel in it and stuff like that. And obviously on the inside I've checked the inside as well. And the inside seems to be pretty decent as well, so there's probably enough space in there just to put um, some clothes in there for overnight stays and stuff like that. So, so yeah, this is the bag. It's a nice dark blue bag, by the way, which I really, really like. Uh, I got it from Amazon. Um, and, yeah, it seems pretty decent, so I am going to take this with me um, next week, and I will talk to you more about next week. Uh, because I am going away next week, but I'll talk to you more about it um, uh, towards the end of this week's episode of the weekly vlog. So for my dinner tonight, I have got a fish and chip takeaway, which I've got a regular cod, I've got a saveloy, and I've also got some uh, chips as well. Saturday night, just gone half past 11, coming up to 20 to 12 now, just about to head off to bed after having an hour's video call with my girlfriend Grace. So I'm going to uh, turn my camera off here and wrap this part of the vlog up here as well and I shall speak to you guys uh, in the next scene of the weekly vlog which will be Sunday. Good afternoon everyone, Sunday afternoon and I have just uh, not long got home from work and uh, got out of my work uniform. Uh, by the way, I have got something which I do want to show you um, a little bit later on. I did get this actually a while ago and I've only just set this up actually. Um, but you can probably see, look, there's like these little figurines inside this sort of like uh, solution or water. Um, so I'm going to show you it uh, when it's lit up late at night. Uh, it's from it's by Star Wars. Look, there's the Darth Vader thing. And uh, yeah, I got this a while ago, but I've only just actually managed to set it up. So uh, I'm going to show you this a little bit later on before we end this week's episode of the weekly vlog. And there is also something else Star Wars related as well, which I did get a while ago, which I've only just actually looked at and uh, sorted out, which I'm going to show you um, a little bit later on in the vlog as well. So uh, yeah, so that's to come. Um, but anyway, I have just got home and I've just got out of my work uniform uh, on this Sunday afternoon. Look at this. Look at this Star Wars uh, thing at night. The dark side at night. Look at it. Man, it is so awesome seeing that at night and then look at what it's doing on the wall look this is the effect it's having on my bedroom wall how awesome is this this is so awesome damn oh, i've been teasing it all throughout this week's episode of the weekly vlog but i do have some news uh that's right because Next week, I am going away for a night. Uh, I'm going away for a night because in next week's episode of the weekly vlog, you guys are going to be seeing this amazing couple right here. That's right, me and my gorgeous girlfriend, Grace. Uh, we are going to be meeting up together um, for, for a whole 24 hours, not just for a day, but for a whole 24 hours. And I am going to vlog it, and you guys are going to see what we get up to for those 24 hours as well. Um, and I am really, really looking forward to it. So next week, I am going to be heading off to 
Brighton. Now, you guys, if you are uh, a long-time viewer, uh, you guys will know that I have been to Brighton before. I went to Brighton for the first time uh, back in the summer of 2023. And it was great and an amazing day there. Um, well, because where Grace lives, she doesn't live too far from uh, from Brighton. Uh, I have decided, because for the last couple of times that me and her have gone on, on a date, uh, she has come down to see me here in Bournemouth. I've decided to meet her near where she lives um, and the nearest destination to where she lives is Brighton so we have decided that we're going to spend a whole 24 hours together uh, in Brighton so of course you will see footage of me heading off to Brighton and you will see footage of me and Grace in Brighton together uh, during the Thursday and Friday part of the weekly vlog next week I'm going to admit now I am very, very excited uh, to be meeting up with Grace. But at the same time, though, it's going to be a little bit daunting for me because last year when I went to Brighton um, for the first time, I wasn't on my own. I did have company with me. This time around, though, I have no company with me apart from the other passengers who are heading towards Brighton uh, on the train uh, there. And of course, um, going back from Brighton on the Friday. So for me, the journey there is going to be a little bit daunting. And I think the journey back is going to feel a little bit daunting as well. But it's going to be fine. You know, I've got my headphones, I'm going to have some music with me to listen to and stuff like that. So it should be absolutely fine. Um, and of course, I will try and vlog a little bit of the journey as well, maybe there and back uh, next week. Um, but mo most importantly, though, I will capture some footage of me and Grace together as we have a little bit of a wander around Brighton. Um, and I will also do a hotel room tour as well. Uh, so that is also planned as well. And there's a couple of things as well next week, which I do know that Grace does want to give to me and she does want to show off on the vlog. And there's a couple of things that I do want to give to Grace as well, which again, I will vlog next week. Um, she is aware that I have got her a few things, uh, a few things that um, I'd love to give to her. So I'm going to obviously vlog that as well. Um, but I tell you what, though, the things that I've got her, I know that she's going to really, really love. I'm not going to lie. There's a couple of things that she has shown me through video calls which I have got emotional at. Um, and she said, just wait until you see this in person because you're going to absolutely love it. Um, so there's one thing in particular. There's a, a picture in particular, actually, uh, which she did show me on video call uh, yesterday. And I did get really emotional about. But um, we'll talk about that, though. Um, during next week's episode of the weekly vlog because it was a really lovely photo and it's something that I'm going to definitely put up on my bedroom wall uh, when I come back from Brighton. Uh, so yeah, so honestly, I am absolutely looking forward to meeting up with Grace next week. We have got so much planned for while we're in Brighton. I mean, we are going to go for breakfast together. We are going to go out for dinner together. We're going to have some drinks together. So I'm going to try my best to capture as much of that as possible uh, for the weekly vlog. Um, because not only will it be fantastic content for you guys uh, watching, but it's also content that me and Grace can go back and watch. Um, the last couple of vlogs... Um, the one where me and her were on that double date with Maxine and Harry and the one where me and her were on our own solo date together. Um, so the first two appearances she's made on the vlog, me and her have actually gone back and watched those vlogs multiple times because 
we do miss each other a lot and um, obviously going back and watching those vlogs they do mean a lot to me because obviously it's just memories that I get to make with such an amazing woman um, you know who I do really really miss a lot so I really am excited to be seeing her uh, next week I'm excited to be make it to be able to make more memories with her next week as well um, and yeah and I just can't wait to take you guys along with me on the journey um, it should be a lot of fun um, so yeah so uh, so feel free to check out next week's episode of the weekly vlog it is going to be a very interesting one next week um, especially given the fact that Grace is going to be in it as well um, I'm sure she'll bring her cheeky vibes with her again like she did in the last in the last couple of vlogs that she's uh, appeared in as well so yeah so honestly i'm really really excited to be meeting up with grace next week in brighton and like i said i can't wait to take you guys along with me on the journey for dinner this evening i've got some meatballs and cheese with some uh, mixed veg and hash browns and for dessert i have got some bananas in custards just about to put this washing away that uh, was put on the era uh, yesterday afternoon. Um, I'm just about to put that away because it is all nice and dry. Currently uploading this week's episode of Steve's Movie Wrap Up, which is episode 17. So if you've not yet checked the episode out, it is available to watch over on my YouTube channel, Steve Official. So feel free to check out this week's episode after watching this week's episode of the weekly vlog. Hello, Twitter. Um, just quick video on thursday i am meeting up with my boyfriend steve and to go to brighton i'm so excited i cannot wait to see him and babe if you're watching this i love you so much i can't wait to spend the 24 hours with you and i can't wait to be in your arms again i am whispering because my baby is asleep and i'm waking him up so i need to be really quiet And that was my girlfriend Grace posting her little announcement on social media to say that she is seeing me next week. Cannot wait! At the time of recording this week's weekly vlog, Gabby Thompson has uploaded a brand new video to her channel, uh, which is called The Beginning of the Bathroom uh, Reno and the Weekly Drama. So I'm going to give that a watch right now over on YouTube. But before I do, though, I just want to very quickly uh, go to this video here very quick, because Brogan Tate, a YouTuber who I've been following for the last couple of years now, uh, probably about five years, it was before the pandemic actually um anyway she recently got married to um her partner benji i just want to say very quickly that there is a video on her channel right now uh which is a little montage of their wedding day they got married on a cruise i believe uh but i just want to say a massive congratulations to brogan and benji uh on their wedding i don't think i've mentioned about it just yet so um i thought now would be a perfect opportunity to mention it in the vlog but a massive congratulations to one one of my favourite YouTubers that I've been following for so many years. Um, honestly, uh, I can't wait to give this video a watch myself uh, once I finish watching Gabby's YouTube video on her YouTube channel. Sunday night, it's just coming up to 25 to 9 now. I am going to have my nighttime video call uh, with my gorgeous girlfriend Grace in a few moments' time. I'm not going to be video calling my friend Kieran tonight because we video called on Friday night and we just thought it'd be better to video call tomorrow night uh, so that is exactly what we are going to be doing um before i do wrap up this episode of the weekly vlog you may remember me earlier talking about this awesome little star wars um dark um dark side lamp thing where if i shake it I don't think it's going to... Oh, there we go. Look, it's back. Look. Da, 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 Anyway, it's so awesome. I love it. I actually really do love it. And it's got a really cool effect uh, when it's on the wall as well, when it's all dark uh, in my room. But I showed that off um, in the vlog 
earlier on. There is one more thing that I did want to show off that which is uh, Star Wars related actually um, and I did get this a little while ago. Um, it's a original Stormtrooper beer um, and basically uh, it's a Galactic Pale Ale so basically it comes with this glass as well actually so I'll show you the glass. Here's the glass. It's got a Stormtrooper helmet on it and it's got Stormtrooper beer on the glass so there we go so and then when I open up the inside of this little tin because it comes in this really awesome looking tin and if I take out this there's a Galactic Pale Ale Stormtrooper um, beer there we go um, so yeah, so what I am going to do is, I'm not, I was going to drink this tonight whilst I was on a video call with Kieran, but because I'm not video calling him until tomorrow night, I thought, you know what, I might just save this and have it, uh, tomorrow night when, when I can get back in the tin, there we go. Um, I'm going to save it and I'm going to have it while I'm on video call, uh, with my friend Kieran. Uh, tomorrow night so that is exactly what I'm going to do uh, right anyway uh, I'm just going to pop that down there uh, that is it for this episode of Steve's weekly vlog I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a, uh, give this video a like leave a comment in the comment section down below and as always if you are new around here you like what you see then feel free to hit that subscribe button to become a Stevo. your next YouTube video will be out on Sunday this weekend Sunday the 10th of March 2024 at 4pm UK time it'll be my movie wrap up episode your next weekly vlog will be out on Monday the 11th of March 2024 at again 4 p.m. UK time in that episode of course as mentioned I will be meeting my gorgeous beautiful girlfriend Grace I'm so looking forward to meeting up with her I'm so looking forward to getting to spend 24 hours with her <sighs> honestly I actually cannot wait I cannot wait the excitement is starting to build now it really really is starting to build anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video but from me though it's goodbye thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next YouTube video